Sarah Ferguson, the former daughter-in-law of Queen Elizabeth II, excitedly shared the first photos of the late monarch's two corgis, Mick and Sandy, to mark her 62nd birthday. Sarah, who is commonly known as Fergie, adopted the pets with her ex-husband Prince Andrew, also 62, after the monarch's passing last month and now cares for the two dogs at their Royal Lodge home near Windsor Castle. On Saturday morning, the Duchess of York posted a series of photos with her hundreds of thousands of Instagram followers from one of their recent walks around the royal estate. The mother of two was photographed lying down on the grass with her first post, with the Queen's two favourite dogs standing close to her. The presents that keep on giving, she captioned the post. The Duchess continued by uploading a sequence of five additional photos, all of which showed the dogs being cuddled by their new owner. Sarah's fans were overjoyed to see the dogs were getting such good care, and they also wished her a happy birthday. One supporter wrote, How heartbreakingly beautiful. We can trust that Sarah will take care of them gently and safely. I'm relieved that they're both with you now, Sarah, said another. To which someone responded, Poor babies. Please keep us updated about them. A third wrote, Good to see they are doing fine. The Duchess reportedly told The Telegraph earlier this month that caring for Sandy and Mick had been a big honour. Sarah acknowledged at the Henley Literature Festival that her two new family members were national treasures and well-trained. The two corgis had to learn to coexist with the five Norfolk Terriers that Sarah and Andrew already shared. When asked about the carpet's movement at her feet, she remarked, They all balance out. The carpet moves as I move, but I've gotten used to it now. According to previous reports, the Duke of York and his daughters gave the late monarch two corgis, Mick and Sandy, over the past couple of years and promised to take care of them if she died. Andrew, Beatrice and her sister Eugenie are said to have gifted Mick to the Queen to keep her company when Prince Philip was in hospital. When the Duke of York gave her Sandy in June on what would have been Prince Philip's 100th birthday. Expert in animal behaviour, Dr Roger Monkford, who has assisted the Queen in caring for her pack of corgis for many years, has remarked that the animals are psychologically so important to her. When the Queen passed away on September the 8th in Balmoral, sources within the palace told the Daily Mail that her beloved corgis were with her in the room during her final hours. After that, on September the 19th, they made a touching presence at the funeral for Her Majesty, which touched many people's hearts. Mick and Sandy waited for the procession of the late monarch's coffin to pass as it travelled from London to its final burial place in Windsor, before the cortege carrying the late monarch's body to St George's Chapel left. The dogs were observed waiting in the quadrangle with two attendants. Following the news of her passing, a dog expert claimed the Queen's corgis may be suffering from depression. John Smith, dog expert and founder of pet personalisation product website Yappy, said while dogs do not understand the concept of death, the canines might feel the loss of their owner being gone. He said, dogs don't quite understand the full extent of absence due to their owner passing away, so they don't grieve death in a sense. Instead, they suffer a feeling of loss and emotional despair which abandoned dogs would feel too. These feelings can lend themselves to common and often devastating symptoms such as whining, pacing, howling, loss of appetite, fidgeting, broken sleep patterns, anxiety and lethargy. Over her lifetime, the Queen owned more than 30 corgis, all descended from her first, Susan, an 18th birthday gift from her father, George VI. The Queen's dogs were given the royal treatment, having their own rooms with elevated wicker baskets and meals of beef, chicken, rabbit, liver, cabbage and rice being prepared by a chef each evening. The dog's meals were sometimes prepared by the Queen herself. Her late husband, on the other hand, was said to have loathed the dogs yapping.